The kidnappers who adopted 11 residents of Kuchimbi in Kuba area of Federal Capital Territory are there to contact the families of the victims. On Friday, March 10, 2023, scores of armed men were said to have invaded Grow Homes estates along Kuchimbi area of Kuba, one of the satellites in Abuja, around 11 p.m. According to an eyewitness, the invaders were kidnappers who came into the estate through the forest surrounding the hills, shot sporadically, and cutted away 11 residents of the estate, including a nursing mother who was later sent back home as a child who won't stop crying. Also, a yet to be identified pastor's son was said to have escaped, thereby leaving the rest of the kidnapped victims now in number. Immediately we came here on Saturday when they say kidnappers came here. They kidnapped 11 people. And one woman with her baby, they returned two of them back because the baby was crying. The other boy escaped. When asked if the kidnappers had demanded ransom from the families of the victims, the witness said, Because I was outside here selling food. Security say they have not heard from anybody. And that many people, they came here with police that Saturday. They had some meeting. And, uh, since then, they never had anything. It was gathered that the victims were kidnapped from two apartments in the estate. Ruth TV was at the scene on Monday morning to confirm the incident. Our correspondent discovered that the residents at one of the buildings when the kidnapping occurred were no longer in the house while the other refused entry. Mrs. Henry Oluchi, who was supposed to move into the estate in March ending, is afraid of being attacked by bandits. Oluchi has convinced her husband to either sell or rent out their property in this estate. She narrated how she frequented the estate daily to supervise the ongoing work on her property, but could not come for days because of the reported attack on Friday. The bandits came through the back and then kidnapped about 11 people and then um, left two to go. After and then they left with nine and then uh, sent two back. Yes, not um, about to, but I'm always here because I have a property here. Well, this is my first time of coming. I'm even scared to enter the estate now, honestly. I just want to pick up something from my house and then leave, but I'm even scared. So I've not been here for, I've not come here since Friday. Reacting to the incident, the Federal Capital Police Public Relations Officer SP Josephine Ade said in a statement released on Sunday that security personnel are currently curbing the forest in the area to rescue the victims. Upon receipt of the distress call, we immediately deployed our men to the scene. The suspects, however, abruptly suspended their operation and took some of the victims into the bush. Operatives of the police and estate security are still curbing the bush. SP Josephine advised FCT residents not to panic but assist the police with credible information. When asked by a resident in the area if the police have been on patrol in the area, he said apart from on Saturday when both policemen and military officers came to hold a meeting in the estate, none had been sighted in the area. Efforts were made to contact a management in charge of the estate, but they refused to grant an interview. Numerous kidnapping occurrences have been reported in Cuba near the Hills and Forest. When government invaded the Arab Road Station to neighbor of Cuba, one of the Abuja satellite towns, around 6 p.m. in December 2022, 11 residents were kidnapped. During the long hour operation, two individuals in the area were killed. In May 22, two residents of Kuba's Braj area were kidnapped by gunmen who stormed the area through the hilly terrain. Some of these kidnapped victims were released after their captors were paid a ransom in millions of naira.